All right, so in this video, I'll show you how to configure Azure point to side VPN, okay, using Azure VPN Gateway and Microsoft Intra Authentication. Okay, so first we will configure the virtual network. So let's create a new virtual network very quickly. Let's select the resource group. Let's call this virtual network as production VNet or prod VNet. And I'll say review and create. And using the default IP range, which is 10.0.0.0 slash 16, and a default subnet of this, it will create a virtual network. Now, once your virtual network is ready, you will go to the VPN gateway service. You will search for virtual network gateway. And you will create a virtual network gateway. Okay, so let's call this as fraud virtual network gateway. I'll select uh, the normal SKU, okay, generation two, and we'll select the virtual network which we have created. Okay, so we need to create a gateway subnet before we can create this gateway. Let's go to that virtual network. And let's go to subnet and let's create a gateway subnet. So the gateway subnet is ready. Let's try to select the gateway subnet over here. So it got selected automatically. Okay, public IP address will create a new one. So let's call this as fraud uh, VGW public IP address. I'll make it zone redundant and let's keep it in active active mode. Okay, since we are keeping it in active active mode, it will require one more IP address. So let's call this as primary and let's call this one as secondary and this also would be zone redundant. I'll say next and we'll click on review and create. Gateway subnet range seems to be correct. Let me refresh this web page. After refreshing the web page, the errand went away. And I'll click on review and create. And I'll create this virtual network gateway. So once your VPN gateway is deployed, you need to go to point to site configuration. And here you will click on configure now. Here you need to define an IP pool. So whenever a client connects to this VPN gateway, an IP would be allocated to that client. So I'll configure it as let's say 1.16.0.0 slash uh, or let's say 1.0 slash 24. Okay. Tunnel type would be open VPN SSL and authentication type I'll select as Azure Active Directory. Okay, so that would be the Authentication type. Okay, it will require a new IP address. So I'll call it as fraud uh, point to site gateway no. IP address, public IP address. And here you need to provide the Active Directory tenant ID. So since we are doing an AD based authenticator in uh, Azure, Active, uh, Azure Active Directory or micro intra based authentication. You need to put your tenant ID over here. So this is my tenant ID. Okay, okay this is a test example tenant ID. So I'll do what I'll do is I'll copy this entire thing, test it over here. 
copy this entire thing, paste it over here, and then I'll put my tenant ID. So this is my tenant ID. I'll paste this over here. So this is done. Audience. Okay, so Microsoft has provided you a, a application. Okay, Microsoft registered application. And this is a predefined ID which you need to put over here. Okay. This is a predefined enterprise app, not inside your Active Directory tenant, but inside Microsoft Active Directory tenant. This is a predefined VPN app. And this is and that and the string you see over here is the app ID. That app ID you have to put. So you can easily get this app ID from the Microsoft documentation, or I will put it in the video description also. You have to put this same ID inside the audience tab. Okay. And then Again, you need to enter your Microsoft tenant. Okay. So I'll just paste again this over here. Okay. Followed by a tailing slash. This is necessary. Okay. The trailing slash is very, very necessary, very much necessary. Okay, and once this is done, you will click on save this configuration. So I did a small URL, I need to do a small URL change over here. So this should be actually, issuer should be hts.windows.net. So this would be the URL which you need to put under the issuer. Okay, and then you need to click on save. Okay, and once this is done, next step is to client is, is your client to connect to this VPN. Okay, now let's download the uh, VPN client details. Should start the download in some time. Yeah, here it is. Okay. So this is the configuration file which is needed to configure the Azure VPN client. If you're using any other client, then these two details can be used. So what I'll do is I'll extract these files over here. Okay. Now next, what we'll do is once the package is downloaded, we will download the uh, Azure VPN client. Okay. So you can simply search for Azure VPN client or you can go to this URL, aka dot ms az vpn client download okay and from here you can download the vpn client you can even download it from the uh, microsoft store if you're using a windows machine getting downloaded okay let's extract these files time now okay so this is the executable so let me just right click on this let me say extract all this will extract the vpn client for me okay so i can install the vpn client So you can see it is downloading some framework and all the other dependencies needed. The client software is installed. Now I need to import the configuration. So I'll say import. And on the download directory, we have already extracted the files. So this is the file which I will import. Okay, so it will have all the details, the connection name details, the VPN gateway details, certificate details, whatever is needed, it's already here. You just need to click on save. Okay, and then you need to click on connect. And when you click on connect, it will ask your entra ID. Okay, so let's say this is my entra ID or Azure Active Directory ID. 
I'll put it over here. Will ask me the uh, it will ask me also the MFA if your MFA is enabled. So I have MFA enabled, so it is asking me the MFA details also. Okay, so I'll just sign in and in some time I would be able to connect to my VPN gateway. Let's try to connect again. Okay, so now you can see the VPN is connected. So there was a small typo over here in this name. That's because of that it was failing for the first time. I corrected that typo and you can see the VPN is connected. Just to verify what IP address is allocated to your computer once the VPN is connected, you can go to command prompt and you can do a IP config. Okay, and you would see an IP address over here allocated from this pool. Okay, this means now if you create any virtual machine inside this network, this particular network, okay, you would be able to connect to that virtual machine using the private IP address of that virtual machine once your client VPN is connected. All right, so this is how you create a point to side VPN using virtual network gateway and Microsoft Intra-Base Authentication.